So in this video, I'll be doing an unboxing setup and review of the Cool Wallet Pro, a credit card sized hardware wallet that is the updated version of the Cool Wallet S, which I reviewed back here. So let's get into it. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. Okay, so this is everything you get in the box. You've got the recovery sheets, you've got a getting started guide, which has like a guide to all the buttons and all those other things on it. You've also got the charger, a micro USB cable, and this is the actual Cool Wallet Pro itself. And you can see it's pretty much the same size as a sort of standard credit card, and it's really not much thicker either. And if you compare it side by side to the original Cool Wallet S, you can actually see that uh, very little has changed in terms of the form factor, the chargers and the cable, it's all, all pretty much the same. And before we do anything else, we'll just start this charging. And we'll just put it in like this. There we go. Please pair. That's charging. So first thing we want to do is install the app. So look, we'll just use this on iOS. So we'll just install that. So let's say open. Uh, no, let's... <laughs> already have a cool wallet card. Oh, okay, so this can also be used as a hot wallet. And then we'll say you want to set up a cool wallet. I'd like to use Bluetooth, yep. Ah, so I can actually see the other cool wallet that I've got over here as well. If we look at the two serial numbers on the devices, we can see we want the one that ends with 459. So we'll just say pair. And there we go. Okay, so you can now see it's giving us a pairing code here that we now type in over here. So we'll just type that in. A pair new firmware please update the card let me turn that overlay back on now okay update take two to ten minutes okay update yep we can confirm it is in the charger you can see the red light is on so it is definitely charging Thank you, dokey. Complete. Oh, now we've got a pair again. Okay. So pair. So the button is this thing right here. Head. Okay. So let's run through the create a wallet process. Just like the original Cool Wallet, it gives us the option for both card or app. It does warn you in the app that it's higher security. And they've also gone and put the same warning in more detail on the back of the recovery card. Now, honestly, why they even give you the option of using the app, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for a 24 word seed. Whenever you're given the choice, really, uh, it's worth going with a 24 word seed. More security, less error prone, uh, only takes a little bit longer to work with. Okay, so we'll say generate recovery phrase. So this is just like the original Cool Wallet and then instead of giving us actual BIP39 seed words, it's actually giving us numbers that correspond to specific BIP39 seed words. Basically, we are just gonna copy these numbers onto here. So those are all written down. So we'll press the button. Oh, it's just going back around number one. So we'll just say up for verification. So essentially what we have to do now is get a calculator and sum these numbers together and uh, stick the total into there. Now, the thing with this verification step is you really ideally should use like an old school calculator or something you've just got kicking around. You know, the most basic sort of electronic calculator you can find rather than just entering these numbers straight into your PC. But let's be honest, it's 2023. Most people probably don't just have a calculator like that on hand. Um, so my suggestion would be that the simplest way to verify uh, this seed without you know just entering it wholesale into a computer would actually be to add it up in two halves so to sum the first 12 words on one device and to sum the second 12 words on a different device you then just add those two numbers together and that is your result because even then if someone was key logging and got 12 out of the 24 words there's nothing they can do with it or, or obviously you could just do it by hand just for the sake of demonstration I'll just use Windows calculator okay so let's just enter that in one, one, six, nine, five, four, four. 
Um, there we go. Verify. Okay, there we go. You see that says creating now. So it looks like that was correct. Okay, so let's just enable everything. Here we go. Add to wallet. Oh wow, finally, okay. Man, that took ages. Okay, so if I go into Bitcoin and hit receive. Okay, so I've just sent some Bitcoin there. Just like with the previous one, we actually have to manually add uh, individual addresses. It'll just reuse the same ones over and over again otherwise. And you'll notice there with this workflow there actually is no ability to verify the receive addresses on this device itself. Let's just have a look around the app. So basically we've got the ability to send, receive, it's also got an exchange sort of thing built into it. And the ability to buy with these services here. So this is marketplace where you'd find all your DeFi stuff that so does support things like Wallet Connect and then through that it can support things like OpenSea. Connect a MetaMask or QR code. This is cool. So this actually uses the uh, new QR code based method to uh, interact with MetaMask, which is the same as things like Keystone. So if we go into this history, it's nothing there. And uh, here we go. So we've got this stuff. So sharing, pairing, show receiving address on card. Oh yeah, this is just the same with the cool wallet. So it'll only actually show you the address when you are confirming the transaction rather than when you're hitting receive. We can choose which currencies we want. So one account per wallet. We've got the security settings. Oh yes, we can also create a password. Now this security settings screen is also a good one to point out one of the big differences with this card. Unlike something like a Ledger, a Trezor or whatever, this card itself does not have any kind of device pin. And it is in fact secured through your phone. Uh, so if someone has access to your phone, can unlock it uh, and can get into this cool wallet app, they can use this card without any further uh, device pin or authentication. So it's very important that uh, you make sure that you do things like set the app password in this app and also that you're quite selective about you know which phones you pair this device with. The other thing to be aware of is by default this device will advertise the uh, Bitcoin balance on there which might not be something you want if you're walking around with this in your wallet. So what you can do is just switch it to uh, show like the Bitcoin cash balance rather than Bitcoin. And if you just leave the Bitcoin cash balance at zero, which let's be honest, that's not a big ask, uh, this will no longer be advertising your Bitcoin balance. But you know, the functionality of the Bitcoin wallet itself is not affected in any way. Actually, let's demo this MetaMask functionality and to do that, we'll just send some BNB. So let's just receive. We'll just send some BNB there on the Binance Smart Chain as well. All right, so to use this in MetaMask, what we're going to do is firstly uh, over here on the Cool Wallet app, we will go over to uh, Marketplace. We'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll say MetaMask. And we will say we want to synchronize wallet and it's going to give us QR code. And over here in MetaMask, we'll just click on the little colored dot and we'll say we want to connect a hardware wallet. We'll say we want a QR based one. Oh, you can see it's got the list of them there. And we'll say continue. And we will allow access to the camera. Okay, there we go. So it scanned it. So it will just say unlock. There we go. And you'll see that address that we get here is actually the same address that we get if we go into Ethereum. And so we'll just say unlock. And there we go, Cool Wallet 1. And the funds I sent there were on Binance Smart Chain. So we'll just, oh, there we go. So there is the 0 0.1 BNB that I sent.
So let's just send that back to my tip wallet. There we go. So we'll just send that back to there. So we'll just say next here in MetaMask. We'll say confirm. Okay, so now we've got our QR code. So let's go back on here into MetaMask. Let's say we want to scan and sign a transaction. And I'll just scan that QR code from MetaMask. Oh yeah, there we go. So we'll just say confirm. Okay, so now we connect the card. There we go. Connected. Right, and this is all you get on the device. So, and because we haven't turned on the send confirmation, we don't actually get uh, this address here showing on this screen. So you pretty much just have to trust what's on your phone screen at the moment and press the button. There's the amount, press button, sent. And now because we're doing this on MetaMask, we actually have to take this QR code back into MetaMask. So we have to say get signature over here on the PC and that's done. So definitely not a uh, seamless way to do transactions, but again, if you're someone who likes using MetaMask, uh, it is handy to be able to use your wallet in this way, particularly given that you can also use it with the MetaMask mobile app. All right, so the Bitcoin is in. So let's just turn on show receiving address on card as well, because that is really like necessary if you want any level of security at all. Okay, so we'll say yes, we want to display destination address on the card when we confirm transactions. Because like seriously, this is an essential feature. It should be on by default. Okay, so this time we're just gonna send just using their app. So we'll just say send. And we'll just scan the address. There we go. and we'll send the max amount. So we'll just say next. So there's the Bitcoin transaction, we'll say confirm. All right, so just cause we're on the phone, we're gonna do the touch ID as well. Hello. Okay, so transaction time. Okay, so BTC, so there's the address and we can see, so part zero, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. So that's the address we're sending to. That is the amount, and then we press button, sent. Okay, and you can see here, it's actually trying to show us the balance for Bitcoin on the uh, screen itself. Uh, though to be really clear, this will only sync when it's connected to your phone on the app. You know, this, this number here will never just update on its own. Summary time. So the Cool Wallet Pro is really very much like the Cool Wallet S. You know, the main difference with this new one is that it supports uh, more coins and chains than the original 
Cool Wallet S. Other than that, it's very much the same. You know, all of the same compromises that were there with the Cool Wallet S are there with this device. The simple reality is that just like with the Cool Wallet S, the Cool Wallet Pro is primarily people who want this form factor, who want a device that is, you know, discreet, that looks just like any other credit card, really, uh, that is thin, that could just fit in your wallet, that is water resistant, tamper evident, um, something you could easily travel with that'll work just with your mobile phone. You know, this form factor is everything for this device. And essentially, if that form factor is something that you need, then you simply just need to live with some of the trade-offs. And you know, none of the trade-offs are deal breakers in and of themselves. Uh, it's just worth understanding that, you know, the experience you get with a device like this is gonna be uh, a bit different to what you get with a more mainstream hardware wallet. But again, all of these trade-offs are because of the form factor. If you want to see how it compares to other devices, I've also added it onto my hardware comparison list on my website. You can actually see it gets the same score as the Cool Wallet S, because uh, the only real difference with these devices uh, is the different coins that they support. And like always, if you want a feature by feature breakdown and want to see where these scores come from, you can just click through to the spreadsheet and just have a look yourself. So thanks again for the team at Coolbit X for sending out the sample. And if you think that a Cool Wallet Pro would be something that would boost your security and want to help me out in the process, I've got an affiliate link in the description. If you've got any other questions about the device, if you've had any experience using it, uh, definitely just leave a reply. I do my best to answer all of them. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.